In last week's episode, we talked about what it means to call racists, xenophobes, and bigots using the internet trolls. We'll see what you had to say. Stephen Liotti on the Facebook mounts uh, a defense of the classic definition of troll um, and likens them to something called that he calls a, a moral detective, which is someone who's gonna get to the bottom of the case of someone's um, morals or beliefs or understandings of the world and that in that process, the moral detective or the troll might use tactics that frustrate people or anger them, but it's all maybe for the greater good in some way. This defense of troll I think is good, but only sort of works in like 2007 and before. Um, and that I think the changing context of troll and the changing context of what it means to have large scale communities online and discussion online makes it harder and harder um, to distance this kind of thing from the kind of troll that you, the kind of user that you see um, tech companies and journalists and media organizations uh, describe as a troll. This was sort of the topic of our first troll video that we made about the experience of being trolled, that it's hard to be this kind of troll and not have someone immediately think that they are the actually harassing, actually abusive other kind of troll. The other thing I want to point out is the connection to Louis C.K., which I think is a really, really good one. And I think that this, a lot of times, is what we see as the function of comedians, um, like, period, in society. That they are people who are able to point out the ridiculous things that we all believe and the, the insane um, hypocrisy and contradiction that exists um, in life and, and allows us to both laugh at those things and maybe then also go, Ugh. And I think that I agree, like Louis C.K. is good at this kind of thing, but again, and this is something that we talked about in our Responsible Social Criticism video, you have to be highly, highly skilled in order to both encourage that conversation, not ward people off, and not reproduce the problems that you are trying to comment on. Um, and I think that, you know, you can see how even Louis C.K., someone who is generally very skilled at this kind of thing, still takes it too far and steps into, you know, troubling territory. So I think, again, yeah, just increasingly, this defense gets harder and harder to make. Um, we're gonna talk about why throughout the rest of this comment response video. Tim Scanlon and David Schoenheit also on the Facebook make what I think is a really cogent point, which is related to the kind of semantic expansion of troll, that uh, as a label for a group of people, its usefulness is um, degrading as far as it can point out or reference a specific idea. Um, and that and that really, I think, one of the things that we'll eventually get to um, you know, in this comment response, if not, generally is maybe a conversation about the fact that what someone who would have been called a troll in 2004 or before, um, what they do is maybe no longer trolling. That, that they are doing the same thing, but that the the word troll, um, as it's deployed by the, by the media, the news, by, com by cultural commentators, by, you know, people, um, has has changed so much that again like sort of the conclusion of the episode gets to that that we sort of can can see how um it, it's it's just a, it's a different thing now this is exactly what love waffle on the subreddit talks about um and sort of wonders whether or not there's just another term maybe that we should use um and gets to i think the kind of thing that would have been called trolling you know and would have been uncontroversial to call trolling 10 years ago, which is, you know, vote brigading for something that's funny like Bodie McBoatface. You know, is that a form of trolling? And as of right now, I would want to say no, even though 10 years ago, I definitely would have said yes. Uh, so there's a, there's a kind of like tricksterism, pranksterism, gesturitude to that, that I think is just completely lost in the label of troll at this point. And just to be super clear um, about my position here and the kind of point that I'm trying to make, uh, there was some, I think, misunderstanding on the subreddit about uh, how I think this has happened. And what I'm not saying is, like, trolls are this, and a troll should be this, and a troll shouldn't be this, et cetera, et cetera, et cetera, but rather that 
There is a widespread understanding of what a troll is that's constituted by people who are in a position to tell the public at large what trolls are. And at this moment, those people are telling the public at large that bigots, racists, and xenophobes are trolls. And so that will fundamentally and necessarily change the public at large's understanding of what trolls are. You can argue about whether or not that's accurate or, or correct based upon some closely held notion of what a troll is you know, from the forum that you hang out on. Um, but unfortunately, that will not scan for people whose main source of news about the internet and uh, the people who are on it is like, you know, Time Magazine. And, and I think that we need to accept that meanings of things change based upon how uh, commentators and uh, the media uses them. Synther brings up Ken M as an example of an old school style troll. And if you don't know Ken M's work, uh, highly recommended to check it out. It's, you know, pretty funny, pretty family friendly, mostly kind of, you know, clean, gets people riled up, but not in a kind of abusive, harassing sense. And, you know, m my sense is that, is that while we might still associate Ken M with trolling, that to me feels like a vestige of, of, you know, what trolling used to be, and that we can still draw that connecting line, but for a wider swath of the internet um, and for the people who contribute to the conversation about it, you know, Ken M is closer to something like Drill or like weird Twitter than he is to the idea of a troll. Um, and I think that that will only increasingly be the case as time moves on. I mean, I, I could be wrong, you know, I'm, I'm fully admitting that I'm predicting the future here. Uh, so, you know, I could be completely off base, but it's just, it, it feels like it's it's now verging into different territory, not because Ken M has moved, but because trolling has expanded. Nakarino makes a really interesting point about the relationship between the word troll, uh, its folkloric history, and its implications regarding intelligence as it relates to the use of the term to talk about state actors like, you know, Russian hackers or, you know, astroturfers um, as, hold on, as uh, Santorachia calls them. Um, you know, one of the reasons that maybe we would want to call these people trolls who are spreading misinformation or who are, you know, organizing to uh, to accomplish state goals. Uh, one reason we might want to call them trolls is to channel this this sort of um, lumbering, slow-witted nature. We want to reduce. Um, we or the people who are sending these messages, who are who are um, communicating about about these people, want to reduce the perceived threat. They're like, ah, they're not, you know, cyber criminals. They're not elite hacksaws. They're just trolls. Uh, they're just dummies on the internet who are trying to cause trouble, et cetera, et cetera. Don't worry about it. And I think that this is a really interesting way to look at this. Um, and I think that it's, you know, it's kind of a two way street that uh, it, it may be contextualizes their actions where they should be contextualized, or it may diminish uh, an actual kind of weird security risk. Um, but uh, I think I think I can I can see this justification totally holding water. And just another thing that Santa Rachia points out that I think is really interesting is, um, you know, the fact that troll is being used to describe this group of people is an indication that what a troll has is and a political agenda of some kind, and that they are not a trickster, they are a legitimate troublemaker in some sense. And that I think is just, you know, further sort of fuel for this fire that uh, the idea of troll and its meaning is, you know, expanding and expanding um, from what it used to be.